trying the new pack bait recipe tonight. This is bread and corn and corn flakes and strawberry jello. I think it might be a little dry. Yeah, that's too dry. It's too crumbly. If it's too crumbly, one thing I've, uh, seems kind of common sense, but if you don't know, if you need to add water, don't add water from the tap. The chlorine in the water will, uh, impart a scent on this that fish do not like. Just a little bit of lake water. And do the trick. Yep, that's better. It'd be nice to catch a fish today. I've been trying lots of different places uh, this week. Some places that I've never carp fished before, some places that I have but hadn't had any luck. If I get skunked today, this will be my sixth time in a row within the past, you know, 10 days or so. So that's probably the primary reason behind changing up the baits a little bit. Trying something a little different. Keep trying the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. That's the definition of insanity. It's about 7 p.m. Got about an hour and a half of daylight left. Cloud cover. Uh, winds picked up here, uh, you know, just in the last couple hours. There was a good time to go fishing today. It's right now. Time will tell though. You know, one of the primary things that I think about when I'm trying to decide where to fish on a particular body of water is the wind. And um, the reason for that is, you know, fish like to congregate on wind blowing short shorelines. Uh, you know the wind blows the and the waves move the food that's in the lake over to the to those shorelines so they hang out there waiting for uh, waiting for the food to come anyway so th that's wh why I'm fishing this end of the lake today uh, wind coming out of the southeast and I'm in the northwest corner of the lake so this shoreline right here and and over here behind me is all getting hit by waves and the wind is blowing anything that's uh, particulate floating in the water blowing it over towards this side of the lake so, so that's definitely something to, to, to keep in mind when you're trying to uh, figure out uh, where you're gonna fish on a particular body of water but what I said about the wind though that's not like some golden rule or anything for sure because I fished this same lake about 50 yards that way last night with the exact same wind conditions and I got skunked not even a single bite so that's definitely not a golden rule Sometimes, sometimes the structure in the water is more attractive than whatever the wind might be doing. First fish of the evening. Just picked it up and immediately ran with it. Feel like a giant. At this point, I'll be happy. Whatever it is. Good fighter. Ooh. Stay out of my other line over there. Nope, 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 nope. That's a catfish. Is that a catfish? Sure is. <laughs> a nice one too. I'll net him.
four pounds, five ounces. Yeah, it's a nice catfish. Nice four and a half pound channel cat uh, caught on the carp rig, boilies. I'm gonna let him go. I don't think there's that many catfish in this lake, so I don't really keep them when I catch them out of this lake. That's a nice one though. <laughs> well, he wasn't the 20 pound carp that I'm after, but it's still a pretty fun fish. Fun, fun. All right, skunk is out. At least for fish. Guess I still got a skunk for the target species here. Well, I broke my skunk streak at least. This is a pretty nice channel cat. Had a few runs, but uh, didn't get hooked up. So no 20 pounder uh, tonight, but uh, have to happen another day. So thanks a lot for joining me on this fishing trip tonight. See you on the next one.